Hello and welcome to another episode of Beyond Basics Crochet. And today is actually going to be part one of a like a little mini series of this series. And that is we are going to crochet this little dog plush. Now I'm going to show you how to make it. And today's episode, we're going to focus just on the head, not the details on the face or the head, but we're just going to make the basic head pattern. And your uh, plush might be a little bit smaller this one when it is completed because I made this using a half double crochet. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to actually do a single crochet, especially for those who are beginners and they may not know exactly how to do a half double, even though it is an easy stitch to do. I just wanted to make it simple for those who don't have anything beyond the basics. All right, so let's get started. Okay, and so we're going to start with the head for today's video. And for this project, I just have normal acrylic yarn and I'm using an H hook. So that's about five millimeters and we'll be doing single crochet. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off doing a magic ring. And we're going to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And so what I would recommend here is if you have any markers or safety pins or something you can use to mark your rows, I recommend that you use them at the end of every row because with the way we are doing this pattern, it's like a continuous spiral and it's hard to keep track of the rows that way. So next we're going to increase for the second row and we're gonna actually increase for six row rows total. And so since we started out with five single crochets, by the time we get to our sixth row, we should have 30 single crochets. So we should have 30 stitches by the end of our sixth row. All right, so we're gonna start by increasing the second row and that's simply done by increasing, by increasing in every stitch. So we should have 10 stitches in our second row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, All right, second row is complete, so we're going to move on to our third row, and I'm just going to mark my second row. And so this one, we should have 15 stitches by the end of our third row. And so just like I covered in the increasing and decreasing video, you can either put an increase and then a single crochet increase single crochet or you can do single crochet increase single crochet increase it just is completely based on preference I prefer to start off with an increase so one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. So that's our third row. For our fourth row, we are going to have 20 stitches. So this time we're going to increase two single crochets, increase two more single crochets. That's the pattern that we're going to follow. So one, that's a half double. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, so we've reached our, the end of our fourth row, mark it. So for our fifth row, we should have 25 stitches. So increase one, two, and we're going to do three single crochet stitches. One, two, three, so for five stitches total, and we're just going to repeat that. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, mark it. And so we're on our sixth and last row. So we're gonna have 30 at the end of this one. So it's gonna be increase four singles, increase four singles. It's the pattern we're following for the last row. I just wanna start off with the double, half double. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, so we've reached the first, the end of the first section of the head for the plush. Now what we're gonna do next is our middle section. And this one is pretty simple. All we do is put one single crochet in each stitch for six rows. So we're gonna keep the 30 stitches and we're gonna do six rows of that. All right. Okay, so now we have our six rows for our middle section. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish the head today with decreasing one, doing one row, which is gonna be a decrease. So we're decreasing to 25 stitches again. And so you do that by decrease. And then two, three, four, five. So decrease and then four stitches after. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Eleven, which is a decrease. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right. So we are actually done with crocheting the head today. So what we're gonna do as our last step is we're going to stuff it. And whenever you're stuffing any stuffed animal, always make sure the, the opening is big enough for you to actually like stick your hand inside. Because if it's too small, it makes it very hard to stuff and you're less likely to have like actual even stuffing. So we're actually gonna stuff and I find the best way to do stuffing is instead of just like throwing clumps in there, it's actually best to kind of do it in small pieces. It does take a longer time, but I think it helps even out the stuffing more. So if you kind of just like separate the stuffing, fluff it out a bit, 
it makes it more even when you actually stuff it in there. Better than just doing like the large clumps which risks making your projects lumpy when you stuff them. And if you overstuff it, it kind of just makes it look absolutely terrible. So you want to make sure that when you're stuffing it, just fluff it out a bit. Make sure to make it more even when stuffing it in there. Because you want to make sure it actually has like a nice shape when you go to when you finish stuffing you want to make sure the shape is, looks nice especially if you're doing like a round project you want to make sure it looks nice and round so that's kind of what we're going to end on is it looking a little bit like this I know it looks a little bit more like a hat but as we continue the project because what we're going to do in the next episode is the body and normally um, when it comes to stuffed animals the head is done first like completely it's usually like decreased completely down because your next section would be six stitches decreasing but for this tutorial I'm actually going to go ahead and connect the body to the head by just simply uh, doing up more rows and then increasing and decreasing according accordingly so that is the end of today's episode which was just focusing on the head in the next episode in part two we will focus on the body all right i appreciate you so much for joining me today and let's go to the outro for this video i appreciate you watching today's video and that is the end of part one. In part two, we're actually going to do the body of the dog. Again, we're not going to focus on the details like the tail or the legs. We're just going to focus on the basics of the body. And please check out other videos that we have on our Facebook. Check out CCPL's YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will see you in part two. Bye-bye!